So we can't take him on walks. If he's around other dogs, he loses his mind. People riding on bikes, anybody walking by, he goes nuts. So barking, wants to pull to them. Um, okay, there we go. Um, he will pull, go right out to the street with a car coming by. He doesn't care. Um, our 12-year-old wants to take him on walks, and I just can't trust him because um, he pulls so much. He just pull him down. Um, and his crate. That's another big thing is he does not do well. He does great going in until the door is shut. Once the door is shut, he loses his mind barking, calling. He can move his cage because he's so big. He splits his cage. Um, he pulls, pulled our bed. Yeah, he has pulled our bed. Our bed's on kind of like wheels. So he has literally pulled our bed across the floor because he pulls on the sheets. Luca, come here. So out in the yard, he um, got into trash the other night and ran from us. Wouldn't come, wouldn't listen. Like rancid trash, like had to put him in the bathtub. Trash. Um, he did it again this morning. It's like, oh, there we go. So that's why we're gonna be going in, not listening. He doesn't do well with grooming. No, grooming is not easy. He just, he thinks he's in charge. We've tried training before. And um, we were told, oh, he's too stubborn. <laughs> we paid for it, you know. Paper trainer that told us the dog was stubborn and he was gonna be really hard to train. Yeah. Luca! Luca, sit! Uh -uh. You're gonna choke yourself, buddy. You are like. Hey, can we sit? He's very treat oriented. Yeah. So if Good. I had a treat right now, his butt would be down.